welcome back. We are us and uh, I'm told. I was just past a slip of paper by some stranger I've never seen before who somehow managed his way into my room and then when I looked away and looked back, disappeared. The message he handed me says, this is Yingard. But for some reason on there is no way, is no information on how to pronounce it, so your guess is as good as mine. Now, we've done a lot of building on our characters' um, stats, but none of the stats have been damaged, except for the resident spellcaster, Anastas Amber. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that name, and I, it doesn't really matter. We have nothing but a fight ahead of us, so let's get into it. Oi! A group of Heartland villagers looks towards you, led by a local blacksmith. You hear clear hostility in their voices. We don't want your kind here. Leave. Thinking about it. Bringing you to the Breathtakers might let us keep a coin or two. Oh, you poor, poor idiots. Let's kill them. You're taking us to the Breathtakers, he said from under the shadow of his silly little hat. Your way then. There's five of them. Kind of wish I had some AOE to put down, but here we are. Oh no. Anyway. He's probably going to want to be out of here. I'd like to put the spellcasters down, but... For some reason, our resident tank, who can't really tank because there's no way to get him to draw aggro to himself, is the first to move. Hmm. Curious that. So how much damage will this do? 11 to 14. Eighty-two percent chance to root, though. I do like some root. We'll go with that. And then, because we can. And then, because we can. And then, because we can. What? I have to be below 112 HP. Why? Yes, last time, in the last video, oh, it actually shows health percentage here. Regardless, in the last video, it showed 70% HP. Why does it have an actual fixed value? Weird. Very, very weird. This guy isn't rooted, so... Unfortunately, I can't position anyone on the tile in a way to draw aggro or... anything like that, so we're sort of stuck like this. Well, he's almost dead. Gains 20% true mastery, taking damage or moving re removes focus. Gain by standing still or using focused action. Interesting. Very, very interesting. This isn't as good. But 
there's only one isolated enemy. And I'm not sure how our resident spellcaster is going to perform, so I prefer that she not draw their attention. Besides, she can't cast on anyone in a cell that she's in. But I also don't think... I also don't think I can teleport to them. No. This character is isolated. So, a character can only be isolated if they have one enemy next to them? Oh, see, we're crowded now, and this would have been perfect for whatever ability that was that we passed on last episode or the episode before that I don't I really don't remember regardless this guy has nothing he can use against anyone currently in this cell uh, I can move him but it won't be good I say let's get rid of some of these squishies Great. Just great. Just great. So let's see. Still stuck with this stupid ability. Bound missiles always critical strike when you get the creativity check. Zero to one burning to a single enemy. Hey, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, there's a lot of damage coming our way. And not to the right character. There we go, finally! Mm -hmm. I don't like that. And then he moves back into the cell. Uh... Okay, okay. play it safe and just kill this guy hmm. these two are both isolated yeah so he's not isolated anymore
think we have to go for her. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we lose this fight. We'll see. If it looks like it's going to start going that way, I'll just spend some destiny to make things to turn things around. That's not below 40% just yet. And now she's stunned. And at risk of dying. There we go, he's rooted. I know what she's going for. Yep. Good, he's still rooted. What? Ah, oh, crap. I'm confused. He had two weapons. Why does it... Why didn't he attack twice? Okay, finally. Yoink. And then we go here. This guy tried to move out of the cell and got, well, laid out. She's not isolated. Let's move him here. She's dead one way or the other. Yep. Good god, that burn is gross. What the frick? Does it stack? Yeah, it definitely stacks. Didn't know that freaking stacked. And he's got blood curse. Well, that explains everything, doesn't it? So, we basically lose. 
So, let's try that again, shall we? Walking through the forest, you come upon an old spiritual sight. To your dismay, you are not alone. Amidst the beautiful flowers and old graves walk the dead. Deathwalkers, here! The rotting walkers simply stare at you with their empty eye sockets. We have to do something. We fight. That's why we're here. Be ready yourself to draw your weapons. These unholy creatures should not have come to this place. An insult to the fallen. It's that seems that sentence seems to be missing a little something, but whatever. This will claim you mortal. Well, at the very least, we aren't outnumbered. There are three of them. Whose turn is it? The resident tank. Hmm. I'm not going to spend a destiny point for him yet. Oh. Look who's alone. Good. Well, I mean good in that I know now that this won't let me just dash to anyone. Even if they're just isolated. It has to be all of the conditions have to be fulfilled. 40% of their health... Well, they have to be below 40% health for me to dash to them. And then I suppose they have to also be isolated. Regardless. Stabby Stabby. And now he's hit with the Blood Curse. Which really, really upsets the undead for some reason. Great. So since he's the spell, what the f is this guy wielding an iron? I mean, it looks like it. Let's get in real close. Doesn't it look like an iron to you? Huh. He also, he also has a sword in his chest, or a short sword, or maybe it was a normal sword and now it's broken. Either way, it's glowing. Why would he just wander all the way into the corner like that? It's despicable. Either way, we're here now. weird. It's... Oh, because she's there. Hmm. This guy dies on his next turn due to the blood curse. I can't target this guy because you can't target diagonally. He's not low enough in health. 
but we can root him. That 82% chance to root. That feels pretty good. Granted, it missed two times in a row in the last in the last fight, but we don't have to even pretend that that fight ever happened, okay? As I said, now he's dead. That's always oh interesting. I thought it was okay. That's my fault then. It just crits so freaking frequently. I just thought that was normal. Status effect storm. Storm is a unique status effect. Whenever an ability channels storm, it inflicts storm on its target. Then the ability is copied to all characters and adjacent tiles that are already stormed. Wow. Stormed is kind of gross, isn't it? Why don't you have a seat right here? Maybe not. Can we teleport to him, though? No, it does work. Even if there are, even if they would not be, even if they would cease to be isolated with the addition of him as in that tile. So, hmm. Wow, Blood Curse also reduces armor by 40%. Well. Got a destiny point. No. Got that. Good. Now he's stuck here. He's not at 40% health, right? No. But I will move into the cell to prevent him from attacking with the spell. Much fortitude. Such wow. Can it? Right. Then we can just... Well, that was a lot hairier than it should have been. Hmm. I think the hammer does more for us. Deal 90% damage to all enemies within this tile, and it can't be dodged. But 
but do I lose Final Conquest? See, that's the that's the rub, isn't it? But it's 13 to 17 damage, and we need damage. Oh good, we still have the same ability. Bye bye, Saw. Entering the village square, you hear the clamor of an execution in progress. And by those facts and in the vacancy of the black cowl, I sentence this lawbreaker to death. I didn't do anything, I swear. Please, someone stop them. And quiet, the carrying of weaponry is outlawed within the heartlands. Judgment must be delivered by the writ given to the black cow by the Atanic Empire. You have corrupted this fair village by carrying tools of death. It's just a family heirloom. I've never used it. Please let me go. Isn't this the woman who we tried to get the heirloom from before? Huh. If we had been given the heirloom, you wouldn't be in this predicament. Maybe we should walk away. There are also a lot of people here, including what appears to be an archer. So, we need to defuse this peacefully. The scene is tense. The onlookers noticeably conflicted over the exchange. We could intervene here, but the consequences would be severe. Her knife is right there. We could almost try to take it. She was lost the moment they put her in that cage. <clears throat> Let's see. This woman is wanted for trial. The Inquisition has demanded we bring her. Ooh, deceitful. And if we fail, we start combat. Hmm. Not good. We genuinely can't save her. The resident the resident spellcaster would have to pull another one from the clutches of defeat in order to get this woman out alive. And frankly, it's only a dagger. No matter what we do, we can't use Hamlet. Will our good fundamentalist, Anastas Amber, be able to pull this off? Pull off this, frankly, the greatest heist anyone has ever seen. The actual theft of another human being. Can she do it? Oh! Unfortunately, it's come to violence. The crowd's attention shifts to you. This woman is wanted for trial. I guess the Anastas Amber was supposed to be here, but we'll just pretend that it was her picture that was here. This woman is wanted for trial. The Inquisition has demanded we bring her. The unspoken Inquisition makes no mistakes. The Inquisition can purge themselves. This prisoner is ours. Sir, doesn't the Inquisition require the mark of Yangard? The breath Breathtaker seems to think for a moment. Yes, they are, Sergeant. And impersonating the Inquisition without such a mark is, a is punishable by death. 
Breathtaker and his watch seem to reach a consensus, and their focus shifts away from the prisoner to you. Well, we tried. And we're probably going to lose this fight. Well, they don't have an archer. But we are extremely unhealthy. Like, terribly. You are in a bad spot. Breathtaker. Apparently, I don't have to be below 100, 112 HP. I just have to be at 112 HP. Hmm. I actually want to move to this tile. Hmm. If we move here, spend a destiny point. Then move here. And then move... Huh? Well... Uh... Let's tickle him, at least. I thought I selected the freaking fire, but here we are. What is this? Well, we dodged it, so it doesn't matter. Oh dear, that's not good. Hmm. I can hit both of them with that, so I'm going to keep using it. Hey guys, I'm here. Well, I'm in the bush now, but, you know. Actually, let's go ahead and take this opportunity to do some damage to you. What is that terrible damage? The only option we have is to do some terrible damage. He's going to cast whatever the frig that is again. That's awful. Why do you get to attack twice? Hmm. Anyway. So, let's do this. Yes. Probably should have gone for the root now that I think about it. But I just wanted to see what it looked like. 
Still not recovering any of the destiny for him. At least not yet. Also, we've got this BS frost going on, which is making us just deal much less damage. I it is so stupid. The frost effect itself isn't stupid. The fact that I'm afflicted with frost for free because I rested at an inn, that is stupid. Now that you're isolated, buddy, this has to happen. Mm, nope. There we go. Creativity failed. Let's see. I think we'll go for this. Oh, I was hoping for a crit, but here we are. Wah! Don't worry, buddy. Your turn is coming. Oh, she dodged it. Not low enough yet. There we go. Also, why don't you take this with you? Well, she's got to actually move from that, so I messed up. But it's fine, she's got fortified health. Or, yeah, that's fortified health, right? Could you not? Hamlin hasn't done anything to you yet. So the spellcaster's dead on her next turn. This coward ran for his life. What if we'd use this instead? Nope. Okay. Oh, you're isolated. And looking pretty delicious. So the resident spellcaster has... I guess we'll just use this first. I did not expect that it would turn into something like this, though combat was always a possibility. And I knew that. Dodge it. Well, she's got 16 extra HP, so... Phew. Do me a favor. Stand right there. can't teleport to him and he won't be isolated. I can now move her here and just keep stacking fire on this guy. He's now got nine stacks and he's going to take a significant chunk of health damage. That's not good. I'm going to need you to stick around, though, bud. Mm, go here. Nothing personal, kid. Uh, 
<sighs> we almost died. Again. <clears throat> I think this can go to our resident assassin. This will take some of his critical chance, but we can give him that right back in a little bit. We should give this to Hamlin. Yeah. Yeah, his armor doesn't give him hell. Poor thing. Well. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Before reaching the pinnacle of preparation, you set up camp in an abandoned storehouse. The pinnacle should be right up ahead, according to the map. We should get some rest. Rest? Look at this place. Those who owned this place before abandoning it clearly ran in haste. Who knows what they left behind? We could look around this mess to see if there's anything of use. Still. Catching our breaths and tending to our wounds could be good. A weary pause fills the storehouse. Especially if the black cowl is waiting for us ahead. And they are. Uh, but we don't have anything to... sucks. And we failed to check. God dang it. We don't need to rest. Let's look around. You begin to rummage through the storehouse searching for something useful. Hey, I found something. You return to your makeshift campsite, looking over the items you found. Okay. Oh. Oh, and it can channel storm. Which means enemies on the same tile and adjacent tiles, which is absurd, will take extra damage. Well, we'll share in the damage. Oh, this has two ability. Oh my god. So Judgment inflicts 5 burning, dealing 55% of your, I don't know if it's weapon damage or if it's based on your power or some combination thereof, to a nearby enemy. And the creativity effect is, if they are blood cursed, stun them. Oh, I, I failed the roll and I got something that's so good. And then its second ability is for firewood. Deal 40% damage and inflict 4 burning to a nearby enemy. It has two abilities. I can't, I can't pass up something like this. I just can't. But the question then becomes, who do I give it to? Well, there's only one person who can inflict blood curse. But it doesn't really mean that they have to be the same person to wield the weapon. This would give, well, Hamlin already has a pretty decent option for dealing with enemies that are on the same tile as him. Plus, he deals AoE damage that is rather significant. I don't know which one to go with. Mechanical Shock deals 75% of your damage to an enemy within range. 
and its creativity effect allows it to always critically strike. I have to go with the uncommon weapon, though. Right? I have to, even though all of the... All of our resident spellcasters' weapons are absolute garbage. Except for, well, no, we do have the bound missile. So, there's that. But it's not great. And it's nowhere near as, at least, broken sounding as Storm. Actually, the rarity for this one is uncommon as well. I don't know what to do. As it is, we have a bunch of really nice weapons. I, I don't know what to do. I like the root, so I'd like to keep the shield. It has to be the judgmental quad X. It has to be. It's a significant amount of damage. Well, the wand also has the same amount, but, well, no. The wand has a higher ceiling on its damage. <sighs> it has to be this one, right? Ancestry. Bulwark. Inflict frost to all enemies within this tile, and it can't be dodged. That means they deal 20% less damage. That's actually pretty good. But we've got this whole thing involving getting destiny points back and we need to rest that in the end. Uh, it's, uh, and then, Oh, it's so difficult. Okay, so let's see. Not this. Uh, you. Ooh. So the new ability, uh, the new ability Boltulf gets by having a rogue weapon and an ancestry weapon is mercy consume all blood curse from a nearby enemy and deal 100% damage per blood curse consumed I don't know being able to teleport or well, dash but then the conditions for that are so strict And this just requires the enemy to be blood cursed, which is not impossible. Though we did fail multiple times in a row in the last fight. That we just barely managed to, to, to come through with victory. Um, uh, I really don't want to pass up that weapon either, though. What would you look like with a rogue weapon? Actually, that could... Yeah, that's actually a lot better for her. And then we get bound missile. So even if it doesn't critically strike through creativity, it's got a 40% chance to critically strike just throughout the rest of the fight. I like that. Okay, I think that's the way we're going to go with this. Hmm. The only real issue is that our source of blood curse... Uh, our source of blood curse comes entirely from...
an ability I can't rely on because the enemy has to be isolated. There has to be a better... Ah, oh, frick. That is so good. If he gets the ice, if he gets the isolation and the blood curse, he can stun them and then just lock them down in that tile or in that cell. Oh, that is just... Oh, okay, let's try this. And then there's a fight up ahead. According, <clears throat> according to your travel map, this is it. The pinnacle of preparation, the ancient shrine of prey, god of, vi of vigilance and preparation. I think it's pride. But I've been pronouncing it as pride the entire time. Anyway, over the ages it has fallen from the glorious place of faith it once was. The priestess said that the black cow had... Right, yeah, so this is going to be a fight that we probably can't win. The, <clears throat> the priestess said that the black cow has claimed this place. Keep your weapons ready. You approach the ruined shrine. In the name of the Baroness of Blood, halt! Before you know it, the hard watch has swept in, surrounding you. Who do we have here? Armed on my land! Black Cowl appears before you. His heart watch guards stop blocking your escape. Answer me, peasants! This place isn't yours, it's a sacred shrine. The shrine! A shrine! Ah! From the sound of it, the hooded man seems to have reached a conclusion of sorts. Religious dirt folk! Ah! This place was home to nothing but heresy and chaos! Now it's the Black Cow's domain! Absolute law is the only divine power here! That's right. The Black Cow claimed this place and slew its priest. Now it's rid of scum like you. Ah, I got tired of words. The action is the only law here. The voice of the black cow is lowered, but somehow still overwhelming to your ears. And here I am, both action and law. I don't know how I managed to go back and forth between an English accent and <laughs> whatever it is I've been doing, but good lord. I'm going to let it, I'm just going to let it continue. Crows, execute these heretic peasants. As the black cow gives the order, a stillness spreads over the pinnacle. The calm before the storm. As you command, Black Cow. No survivors! We've got so many enemies. We lose. We just, I can't, we can't continue. We needed to rest a long time ago and due to my own negligence this is where we are that guy has 217 HP and we walked into this fight with health like we just started the game Such a shame, really. We had just gotten some really nice stuff. Well, it's 
wonderful serving with you all. But this is it for us. Any moment now. Hey, maybe we can take one with us. 12 to 16. Nope. Couldn't even pull that off. In death, the triumphs of your last encounters are forgotten. You find yourself at the end of the... <clears throat> you find yourself at the end of your line. Death itself speaks to you. You have fallen in battle. Now you must choose. I would like some armor. begins to gather energy from the surrounding graveyard. You shall meet your end. End time. You feel your spirit return to the mortal world. So what did we get? Bonus dodge, bonus creativity, some ancestry, mm -hmm. photo, what if we give her this arm? Nope, that gives her health. Yeah, that can go. So apparently our group is before we got the weapon from the storehouse. And it sent us back a ways, too. This is not going to turn into combat, so let's do this instead. God, it feels terrible to fail like that. So we've been here before, so I'm not going to bother reading that stuff. I could get a tre- Ooh, that's a 95% chance at treasure, in fact. Ooh, I could also do it without spending anything. But I could also heal everyone. We're going to an inn immediately after this. And there's literally no way around it, so... Treasure! There we go. I'll search the area. Ah -ha! You find something large and... Uh, a wooden. Oh. A chest. So, we've got armor that increases dodge and talent, which is useful for creativity. That's pretty good. Actually, Boltulf could use that. It increases dodge. Yup. That's everything he needs. Then we have the Charged Scepter of Will. Oh, and it has two abilities. I think we might go with this. Deals seven, the first ability, Lightning Strike, deals 70% damage to an enemy in range. If you are focused, Lightning Strike has a 50% chance to crit. Mm, that's pretty good. Storm Bolt is just, it deals slightly more damage than Lightning Strike, but you should be using Lightning Strike, so yeah. Hmm. I don't know who to use this. I, I don't. Like, the, t the talent level would be really useful for it. He'd lose some power, though. That sucks. Which means he would lose some initiative. Super unfortunate. But in gaining talent, he would gain how much? Two? 
Oh yeah, that would cover the loss of power as well. Plus he'd get some ancestral mastery too. Our resident spellcaster is not very dependable right now. Hmm. The talent would really help. I don't know which one to go for. Ugh. Yeah, that really, this candle really needs to be replaced. Uh, I did it. I'm not happy about it, but I did it. And now for my punishment. All enemies have creativity 15 inflict three frosts whenever they do that's frankly I would rather they deal extra damage than inflict frost it's so goddamn tedious Frankly, I want to test them out in combat. So let's do that. The undead stumble out from the farmstead, their stench spreading nausea across the street. In the depths you shall tread. I don't think we'll talk our way out of this one. I just want to see, yeah, there'll be no running from this one. You're right, no talking here. So we're outnumbered again. That guy controls that ground. This guy's probably a spellcaster. Not sure about this one. What the frick is that weapon? Also, the axe is nice. It's a little drippy for my taste, but... You know. Beggars can't be choosers. So, we'll move him here. Root this fella. Now he's blood cursed. Great. Triple blood curse. All right. into this area because this guy's got controlling control ground active. Now that he's stormed, if an ability channels storm against the target, copy the ability to each nearby or adjacent tile character within with storm. Ah, so it's not that good. Mm, okay.
Well, at least we finally got to test it out, you know? Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. He's still not low enough, but we can damage everyone here. It dealt six. It dealt six damage, but it's supposed to have a minimum of eight. Maybe he had fortified health. Hmm. Either way, let's move him to this tile. We like to see that. He's missing a lot of health now. One, which one? This one. Uh, so storm doesn't spread to nearby enemies. So let's do this. I've seen people attack with two weapons and hit twice. Maybe that was an ability. And that's ridiculous. Well, he's not getting a turn. going to die on his next turn. And these two are going to want to leave this room. Well, this cell. Now you can't cast. And then he tried to run. Silly boy. Okay, she's got this guy, so we're going to... Nothing personal, kid. Nothing personal. There we go. For 19 whole damage. When it's supposed to crit. Or maybe not. Regardless, and his turn... 
Return the slab. Or just lay down, old man. His weapons fell through the world. That explains why I don't get much from fights. Oh, we did get an artifact, though. Schwanky. So, let's see. We can finally give um, Botulf the armor he had to pass on last time. Or we could make our resident spellcaster a little tankier. I don't hate that idea. But I think Boltov's looking at an upgrade he deserves, so... What about giving these to her? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. We're still not in a very good place. No, it's not great. Um, <sighs> I'm doing a lot of experimenting, much to the detriment of our party's ability to actually output damage. That is going. It has bitten us in the bat in the butt before. Uh, man. Ah, I'll leave it for now. Okay, I, I was for a second there. I was tempted to go with the encounter, but. That could also turn into a fight, so I'm just I'm going to just hold off because our resident tank is not feeling so hot. Regardless, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. We will be back tomorrow with another episode. So, with all that said, we will see you next time. You see?